For sidewall aneurysms, I think, uh, in my mind, that question has been answered. Uh, so the flow diversion devices are much more effective. Um, where you might need to use a coil, I typically would use the flow diverger as the stent device. Uh, so I think a lot of the early low coverage stents, um, in many regards, they've been displaced. Um, not everyone accepts that, so I'm not saying this is dogma, but I think more and more people become accustomed to that. It gives such a superior result, the outcomes are better, the recurrences are much lower. And so I think, um, and I was very invested in the early generation devices, and so I think, um, you know, over time though, uh, because of the outcome and uh, the superiority of the flow diversion devices, whether I use them alone or with coils, um, basically I think they're much superior to the early, earlier devices. Now, having said that, um, there is still a role in some places, like in the bifurcations of uh, vessels, where you may want to use coils. But even there, I still prefer to use a flow diversion type of endoluminal device as opposed to an early generation low coverage stent.